We've had some great times on the purple sofa in 2017, haven't we, Ellen? Yeah! Doing show of the weekend. So many shows of the weekend. If only there was some way of compiling all of the best bits, if all only. of our favourite moments if from only. across the whole year. But wait, <gasps> we can do just that. We what? What? Why not take some of our favourite clips that we, we particularly like over this year and, and, and pop them in a, a clip show? It's mad, I won't allow it. <laughs> Well, tough. I've already done it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and it's next. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And you all have to watch it. <laughs> Please enjoy it. And thank you so, so much for all the support this year. And uh, we really, really hope that you continue watching and that we continue making interesting things for you, hopefully. Thanks so much, guys. Yeah. Here's to a great 2018. Woo! Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. About. Well, Ellen, I know it's been a while, and we've got these long flights coming up, and... Do you want to borrow Breath of the Wild? Oh my god, Luke, really? Oh, that's amazing! Oh my god, I'm gonna go play it right now. Thank you so much! Uh, You sound like Andy. Shut up, Luke. Oh. You have to let me go, Luke. Let you go? But let I... me go yet. <gasps> I have to let go. So, Ellen, how are you enjoying Breath of the Wild? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's great, uh, but I'm mainly into Magikarp Jump right now. I mean, look at my Magikarp, Matt! God, what prima donna. Oh, no, not you, Matt. Never you. The first Pokemon is uh, Driftloon. I see yeah, Andy's excited. Andy's excited. Here is the beginning of Driftloon's Pokemon Moon Pokedex entry. Okay. If for some reason its body bursts, <laughs> Can you complete that sentence? It reassimilates in an alternate dimension. Not a terrible guess. Uh, do you want to know what the answer is? Y yeah, preferably. If. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Getting pretty sassy here on the sofa. If for some reason its body bursts, its soul spills out with a screaming sound. <laughs> That's good. Well, you look surprised. <laughs> 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 and presumably, because it's a balloon, it also goes like... <laughs> like that. That's not even the, the end of Driftloon's nightmarishness. Driftloon is, is the Pokemon that... Um, kidnaps children. Kidnaps children. Yeah. Kids hold, kids hold onto it and then it sort of floats away with them and takes them to the afterlife. Okay, Luke. Mm. So, uh, I've got five questions here. Mm. I'm going to start off with an easy one. For Honor is a brand new game set in a world of warring knights, vikings, and samurai. Please explain to Andy how this is historically possible. Oh my god. Oh, he's walking over. He looks, <laughs> he looks mad already. I haven't started. Oh, okay. Okay. No, 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 come on, pull up, pull up a view. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is why no one else is allowed to sit on the purple sofa. Okay, okay. All right. So, what is it? Vikings, knights, and, and samurai. Samurai. Okay. It's never made clear that For Honor is set in a time zone that we, our human civilization, has lived through. Now, there is much that we don't know about prehistoric, what we would call prehistoric, life on Earth. 
Were there samurais around before or during or slightly after the time of the dinosaurs? We don't know. We don't know, but hang on to the idea because... Were there samurais because around before humans? No, 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 well, 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 would, would we call, they called themselves samurais, would we call them samurais, who knows, but... so They are exactly samurais, though. From our historical perspective, yes, but, you know, let's try, try and take the wider view for once, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, sorry, Andy, Andy, Andy. <laughs> right, 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 okay, okay. The thing about the prehistoric times is that the te tectonic plates were, no, 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 okay. tectonic plates were all over the shop. That is the scientific term. So continents were melded. So that is one reason, but obviously not the main reason I'm saying, because that's <laughs> ridiculous. What I actually want to talk about is the lost art of shipbuilding. Now, Zero no, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> Maybe they went there, but then the boat sank and the boats, no traces of them and... Oh, what if, what if, what if the samurais like went to Europe, for instance, and they went on boats and then like some of them died and some of them didn't, but, but, but they all left. Like they were like, oh, we have to leave. And they took all the bodies and they were like, we mustn't leave any knives or bits of architecture or helmetry that, that, that they don't have here. So you keep yes. <laughs> It's a shame, isn't it, Ellen, about that Nintendo Switch thing? Yeah, if only it was a way that we could, you know, jump back a day so we can actually go there. Mm. Here we are. It worked. <laughs> The power of this Pikachu is untold! Okay. We should really do tests on it. We should. Or we could play Switch games. Should we do, play Switch I games? I we should play Switch games. Hi everyone, welcome to Sweden. I'm here with Luke. Hey. We're in Arvidsjaur in the north of the country. We've just driven about an hour north mm -hmm. out of the country. We're going to drive these cars on some ice. It's going to be lit, right Luke? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So that was our first day of ice driving. It was amazing. Um, just pulling off those moves on the ice. The handling out there is incredible, right, Andy? Yeah, yeah. The, the snow is really, really cool, Steve, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, some of those drifts, though, they were mad, right? Mad drifts. Yes. Mad. Andy, Andy, I think we should stay with the car. Uh, Andy, Andy, Andy. I can't wait for Luke. Luke. I can't trust him. I think he's a thing. Like in the movie, the thing, the thing, the thing. It's around his eyes, eyes, eyes. I used the Star Trek transporter to beam him to the land of Hyrule last Saturday. Nothing since. <laughs> I have his orders right here. Mr. Mike, at the end of show of the weekend, please beam me to the land of Hyrule. Wait, what's this on the back? And an hour later, beam me back. Tar, Luke. 
Mike. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, give me a minute. Oh my God, Luke, you've been <gasps> in Hyrule all week. Uh, Come on, let's go get you cleaned up. I was in here all the time. Yeah, there, there. I did a really bad job. Don't worry. Nice hair. Oh, thanks. Ellen, over the years, Sonic the Hedgehog has made many friends, <laughs> including Knuckles and Tails, who are playable characters in Sonic Mania. But not every Sonic character can become a household name. Ellen, can you tell me which of the following are not Z-list Sonic characters? Okay. Some of these are made up. Okay. Which ones are they? Okay, I'm looking forward to this. Knack the Weasel, Charmy Bee, <laughs> Styx the Badger, SBO the Chameleon. Should I keep going or do you need a minute? <laughs> Give it a minute. The first time I misread it, I thought it was Ezio, <laughs> but it's Espio. Okay, well I know that's a real one now. I misread it in my head, maybe. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, Luke, curse your idiocy. Okay, <laughs> didn't even finish them. Mighty the Armadillo, Jet the Hawk, Mott the Hoople. No, that's not one. <laughs> Wave the Swallow. Should we go one at a time? Yeah. Knack so, the, knack so how, the, how many of these are real? Or is I there, can't, um, not can't tell you. Okay. Tell you. Knack the Weasel. I don't think so. I think you thought it up because of Knack the Game. Charmy B. <laughs> I think mean, that's a Luke. That's a Luke. Okay, that's another one made up by me. <laughs> SBO the Chameleon. Yeah. That was, we, we, that's real. I betrayed that. Styx the Badger. I think that's probably real. Mighty the Armadillo. No. You think, I think that's you think, fake. You think that's fake? Okay. Jet the Hawk. I think that's fake. Okay. And Wave the Swallow. I think that's probably real. I don't know, just to try and balance it out. Well, Ellen, um, thank you for your answers. It was a trick question. They are all Sonic characters. <laughs> Charmy B! Charmy B! You don't remember Charmy B? Oh, I love Charmy B. That just sounds like got, something you'd make up. I've got a Charmy B lunchbox. <laughs> Charmy B's first appearance was in Knuckles Chaotix. Charmy B appeared in Sonic Heroes, a cameo in Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. <laughs> Do you want to know a Charmy B quote? Go on. Oh flower, pretty flower, show your face and I'll sting you. <laughs> Jesus! Hey, I'm just on the Sonic wiki here. But no, they are all real. You Ellen me. I suppose in a way, yes. <laughs> I did. <laughs> well done though, Ellen. Right. Yeah, I'm fine. So I'm just a bit stressed. There's so many games. We played so many at E3. I'm just sort of Luke, struggling Luke, to get them all Luke, straight in my Luke, head. It's okay. Remember when we were at E3 and I was getting really stressed out because there was a sensory overload and we found like a really good method that really helped calm me down? This isn't the Ellen Rose patented tote technique, is it? Look at the size of this ridiculous bag, Helen. Yeah. You, you give the giving these out at E3, you put posters in them, that's the idea. Let's see if you will fit in it. <laughs> I think you will. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you guys. Get those knees up. <laughs> I can fit inside a poster bag. Proof. See, Luke, do you feel better now? Um, a, a little, actually. It's... Nope. Ellen, final question. Right. Origins will introduce a slew of exciting changes some of which we've discussed, many of which were predicted by Outside Extra weeks before the game's official unveiling in our video about what we need from a new Assassin's Creed game. We were chatting about this the other day that someone suggested lots of scaffolding everywhere because they're yeah. building constantly. You so could climb, like, the scaffolding. climb the scaffolding. Scaffolding. <laughs> Nailed it. Camels. That camels, was it. I said, I want, I want camels. And they, they've got camels. And they've got camels. And there's crocomodiles and everything. Crocomodiles. <laughs> Ellen, this seems like a good opportunity to find out if you are genuinely psychic. So, I have here Pokemon cards. <laughs> I wondered why you got those. Because believe it or not, we actually have much easier access to Pokemon cards than actual Playing, playing cards. Playing cards, yeah. Okay, yes. I have two Pokemon cards here. Right. One is a Brion, one is a Golduck. I'll just prove that to the viewers at home. There you go. Ellen, <laughs> try and channel the same psychic energy that you used, <laughs> and can you find the Golduck to prove that you're psychic? I don't know. It's, I think it's less psychic and more than I know the series really well. Ellen has claimed that she has uh. real psychic powers. <laughs> And now we put it to the test. I don't know. No, you're 
Relax your mind, focus, <laughs> use your psychic Just powers. Allow your psychic powers to guide your hand. Yeah. Access the spirit realm. <laughs> Have you accessed it? Are you in there? Sorry, is this distracting? <gasps> it's the golden <laughs> proof! Psychic proof! <laughs> Confirmed for psychic. There is literally no way that could have happened if Ellen did not have psychic powers. So there we go. I mean, we should call someone. <laughs> if you're watching this, just send a YouTube link to like NASA or Mensa or like the government or something. Welcome to Show the Weekend. I'm Ellen. And I'm Luke. Ellen, I've been meaning to ask, where were you last week? Oh, um, well, like uh, I was on my way to the studio, but I was really tired after rest, so I got a little bit lost. Hey guys, welcome to Show the Weekend. I'm Ellen and I'm here with Luke. I'm not Luke. What? No. I'm Bernie from Rooster Teeth. Rooster Roos Teeth? What kind of name is that? It's a YouTube thing. We're like PewDiePie. Oh. Ellen, how did you think that was me? I don't know, I just thought you might have grown a beard. I mean, I've never seen you with one, so, you know, I assumed it was the same. I just thought, don't mention it. I don't have an American accent either. I, I thought you were going through a phase. God, Luke, what's with all the questions? Luke, we've already turned the two of us into lovable uh, ukulele-inspired characters. Yes. Now, I would like to do the same to you uh, with Crash Bandicoot. Okay. So, right. Oh, I was doing my joke earlier and then, there we go. <laughs> I was doing my joke earlier, I lost my place. Please pick a number. I love it when there's notebooks and papers and gold. Okay. Go, yeah, 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 go on. Between one and six. A number between one and six. Four. Okay. Again, a number between one and six. Four again. <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> and another between one and six. Uh, hey, let's mix it up. Oh. Well, no, I don't want to mix it up. Four. <laughs> I shouldn't make you. Leading the witness. I think you would. Four. Just, four yeah, okay. Four. I just think you would enjoy this. Okay. One. <laughs> it's something that we would appreciate. Right. You have created yeah. a character. Good. And from this character, yeah. I would like you to create your backstory and your <laughs> evil nemesis. <laughs> okay, all right. Your name, in the style of Crash Bandicoot, yeah. I've gone for a comic book themed type noise, fight noise, yeah. and then an animal, yeah. and then their item of clothing. <laughs> I love that about mascots, they only have one item of clothing. Yeah, like trainers as yeah, well. Yeah. It's not trainers, but that's. Gotta have trainers. It is the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> You've created Smash Blue Whale, <laughs> who wears a t-shirt over a long sleeve shirt. Because he's a radical skater whale. <laughs> I love it. Well, I mean, so oh, I have to create his backstory. So, okay, like, yeah, the, the okay. first easy question is like, yeah. like, what's his move? What's his super move? What do his super move first? Like, uh, his super move is he splashes out the water and like comes down on you side first, like Moby Dick, you know, like, boosh, like yeah, that, you know, like, <laughs> blam. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah. So it's a sort of it's he, he squashes you with his right mighty whale flank. Yeah. Blam. Yeah. yeah. It's like okay. an elbow drop if you're yeah. a whale and you don't have elbows. Yeah. <laughs> or vestigial well, elbows or whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever they've, got, they've got some bone. Yeah. Whatever they've got going on in there. So backstory is Smash was hanging out in the sea one day and then there was a massive wave and he surfed it because he's rad. But it turned out that the wave was radioactive and created by Dr. Magnitude. Yes. <laughs> Dr. Magnet apostrophe tood, because he's got a bad attitude, as opposed to Smash, who has a rad attitude. The wave was radioactive, and uh, when he came to, he had crazy powers and a t shirt. <laughs> That's how over he, a long sleeve shirt. Over a long sleeve shirt. Yeah. <laughs> That's the important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He already had the long sleeve shirt, but it took the radioactive wave to put the t-shirt t -shirt. over it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a it's a proper one. It's not one of those ones you got in the noughties where it's like there's like a sleeve just stitched in. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. It's like an actual t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's authentic. And he's yeah. always slightly too hot. Yeah. My memory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Smash so much. <laughs> I just want to go draw him. Smash. Smash. Smash Blue Whale. 
intellectual property asserted yeah. here on the sofa. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're watching... Sony, you Sony. have to get in touch with us. Yeah. Well, I might say, sell you the rights, maybe? It's going to cost you. Mm -hmm. It's going to cost you big time. Mm -hmm. If you want these great ideas. <laughs> Ellen? Yeah? I baked you some cookies! <laughs> 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 Oh. No. Uh -oh. She's oh. eating the cookies. Now oh. let me talk to you. Yeah, what game do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what game do you want? To win? <laughs> Outrageous. Ellen, Overcooked is all about creating fine gourmet food under pressure. But how will you fare in the final part of the challenge? Ellen, to find out, I need you to briefly leave the studio while I prepare <laughs> the final part of your oh challenge. Oh my god. Okay. Bye everyone. <laughs> Give you a tap in a minute. Okay. No peeking. I won't. Go outside. All right. <laughs> Back in here. Oh Come on god, in, Ellen. Oh my god. Have a seat. Oh my god. <laughs> it's easy. Oh, oh, All this stuff is quite oh. precarious, so. Ellen. You're doing a mug cake. You're doing a mug cake. Ah! Do you have the cookery smarts to rustle up the finest food treat, the microwave mug cake? Here is the recipe. Here are the ingredients. Oh my god. And because it's overcooked, you will be timed. Now you have five minutes, including cooking time. Ah! Okay? <laughs> Don't forget to talk us through your thinking. Right. Here's the recipe. Show it to the camera quickly. Uh, uh, there it is. Uh, All right, let's go. Let's get cooking. Okay. Uh, I'll put flour in first. Well, if you look at the recipe. What? Here's the ingredients. Here's the process. Okay. Oh, God. Right. Okay. Melt the chocolate with the butter. All right, 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 right. Oh, damn it. I probably should have unwrapped the chocolate. Yeah. You're panicking. Yeah. It's all right. Six, Think of the production night. Six line. squares. Six squares. Wow. Perfect. Increasing the surface area by just yeah. popping them up. And Good. then uh, butter. Is that enough? Is that, that is the right the amount. The right amount of. Oh, thank you. Get that all in. It's good quality butter. That. <laughs> Whoa, there it is. <laughs> in it goes. Getting a little bit off the off the wrapping. 30 to 40 seconds. Uh, how do I open this? There we go. 800 watts. There we go. Um, oh. <laughs> All right. right. Cool. Okay. Um, then beat until Make smooth. Some noises. Oh, no. <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> yes. Just gonna shield my eyes. You keep uh, going, Ellen. Slightly. One by one. Whisk in the egg, sugar, vanilla. What have you done, Ellen? Your faces. <laughs> ah. Right. Okay. Uh, Watch the temperature. Okay, should be good. Nice, okay, and it's looking quite melty. Melty, that's melting nicely. Lovely, good, 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 good. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I can't show the Very camera. nice. It'll melt everywhere. Beans are smooth, then allowed to cool slightly. One by one, whisk in the egg, sugar, vanilla, flour, and baking. Oh, right, okay, so I need one egg. Here we go. Wow, very nice with practice D's. That's right, going sugar. in. Sugar, okay, two tablespoons cast sugar. Egg all over my hand now. That's fine. Okay. No, it's not fine. Wash your hands, people. There you go. Great. Caster sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There's your vanilla extract. Oh my god. There we go. Vanilla flavouring. Fun quite. fact, I once drank a huge amount of that because I thought it would be delicious. And it isn't. Oh, that's quite a lot of vanilla. That's a lot. There we go. I had to stop that. That's alright. That's alright. Don't worry. It's whiskey business, this. Hey! Uh, See, that's what I do. That's what I'm providing One. while Ellen does the, you know. <laughs> Just Are you auditioning for the next season of Yeah, I'm the Mel and oh. Sue in this situation. I'm just right up in your cooking. Thanks, going Mel like, and Sue. <laughs> and then occasionally I'll just knock something off by accident. And, no. Yeah. Oh, that's looking quite good. Getting a good old whisking. The flowers in there. Yeah, where's the baking powder? The baking powder, here it is. Whoa. Get those sachets open. Oh. It's all right, you're doing good, you're doing good. Um, how much? Half a, half teaspoon. a teaspoon. And that is a teaspoon, that is a I teaspoon, think. So, like half so roughly like half. That. <laughs> That's the thing that makes it right. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. All right, all right, all right. Beating it up nicely. Don't forget to take the fork out. Show it to the camera quickly. Mmm. Yep. Right, one minute. 20. In we go, in we go. Oh, it's cooking for one minute 20. Uh. Love that noise. Okay. 
Well, it smells like egg. <laughs> Ooh, 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 let's, let's open that up. Nice and spongy. The consistency is very good. Give it, how, how's it smell? It smells all right. It smells vanilla-y. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of vanilla in it. I didn't put all of that spoonful in. <laughs> Here we go, on three. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> mm. Pretty good. It's all right, it's a mug cake. Don't be modest, Dylan. It's good, you've made a food. I've made a food. <laughs> We played some Sea of Thieves today. Yes, I was today. really excited for you to play it because it wasn't my first time playing it, but it was Luke's first time playing it, and we all know he likes boats. I do love boats. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I found it very satisfying. It has that great online multiplayer thing that we're seeing a lot more of now where you can only control a small part of the game, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So, so I was steering the ship, but when you're steering the ship, you can't really see the sails, and if you're looking at the sails, you can't, so you rely a lot on communication yeah. and the headset chat. Uh, but that was really fun. I love the look of it. It feels really good to control. I like how when you get drunk on Grog, the controls go all squiffy, um, and I fell in the sea, and Captain Andy sailed the ship away without me. <laughs> because, I don't know, so there was another boat, and he felt that they were in danger yeah, or something. Uh, I kind of raised the anchor, thinking that Luke was on the ship. And I, w I could not have been clearer. <laughs> Guys, I am not on the boat. I'm oh, not on the ship. Like Don't that. sail away without me, I believe um, were my words. <laughs> I'd already raised the anchor by that point. Hey, I couldn't and hear. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, we'll just get prepped. We won't go. But, well, I don't blame you, Andy. The fault always lies at the captain's door. You don't blame me, Andy? I don't blame you, Ellen. The fault always lies... <laughs> with the captain of the ship. It's been a long week. <laughs> Abruptly, the woodland opens out onto a long strand of shoreline. A dark lake stretches infinitely out into the distance ahead of you. Broad patches of glistening ice across the water reflect a faint wintry moon. You turn in time to see the photographer lurch from the woods. You see it is a tall man, impeccably dressed. <laughs> yeah. Leather gloves gripping a dented camera. Mm -hmm. With malice in his eyes and a demonic grin, he breaks into a sprint, eager for the final showdown. Do you A. Give up the fight, leaping headlong into the frozen lake, or B. Block his first attack with your left wrist, then shatter his jaw with a devastating right hook? <laughs> <laughs> Part of me wants to go, mate. If you want a picture, I've got my phone, you can do a selfie, it's much more informal, it's really nice. Uh, I think it's He doesn't a... understand what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> and gonna, you don't have a phone. I, oh, I'm gonna... What's, what's this then? Um, <laughs> I'm you don't have a to... phone in the story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stand my ground, even though there is a very big chance that the lake isn't actually like a frozen lake and it's all... like magic. Yeah, that's true. True. Okay. I'm gonna turn around and You've be gone like, for option B. Yeah. Block his first attack with your left wrist, then shatter his jaw with a devastating right hook. <laughs> Ellen, this is the end game. <laughs> oh. You've chosen option B. You try to do exactly that, <laughs> but you cannot. Oh. You have no wrists, no fists, because you are, and always were, the penguin from the trailer. <laughs> And viewer, the clues were all there. You noisily grope your way up the lawn, stumbling as your large feet catch in the knotted grass. I know, I'm the smallest feet on the team! The temperature has dropped even further to freezing levels, but it doesn't seem to bother you. You struggle with the doorknob, but eventually manage to turn it enough to open the door. You fall and slide out of the factory on your belly. One must be several miles in the distance, but you can tell immediately it's some kind of cannery or fish processing plant. Why didn't the cat attack me? Cats don't attack penguins, that's not a thing. They attack birds! I, I found it weird that that's what you're fixating on as evidence that you're not a penguin, <laughs> but fine. <laughs> Shattered. Ellen's mind is shattered. She knows now the horrible, horrible truth that she is and always was. Milk penguin. <laughs> it's a crow. So that, so it, <laughs> no penguin in this universe. It's a crow, says the penguin, <laughs> unwilling to accept its own reality. Oh, also, did you, did you clock that the photographer was a marine biologist because he had a Master of Science, as it said on his business card? <laughs> that was possibly a bit too subtle. <laughs> The thing to focus on, thing to focus on is you didn't lose any lives, and I can tell you there were a lot of ways to lose lives in that. You didn't make any bad choices, apart from the last most important choice. Let's say that in the end, you didn't manage to land the punch, 
but as as you went for the punch, you realised that you have a sort of flappy wing and went, oh, I'm a penguin, I'll be fine <laughs> in the lake and swam away to safety. Okay. What happens if I lose? And do I just get captured by a marine biologist and taken to like London Zoo or something? I, I, I think he actually is just there to photograph you. <laughs> so the ending that I got was, there's this marine biologist who comes up to a penguin who's just going, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, basically. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. Where's your master of science now? <laughs> the, the faces are very, these low poly models, yeah. uh, and you have to infer a lot from not a whole lot of expression. Well, basically, it's a whole police story told through eyebrow work, so just people being like. <laughs> That's like your favourite thing, though. Yeah. Like yeah. Luke's thing is eyebrows, yeah. <laughs> it's even funnier looking at it from the side. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll, keep, I'll keep going. So the story basically uh, unfolds through very, very simple actions. It's it's in first, per, it's in first per person. She'll be fine. Give her a minute. <laughs> oh, she's crying. <laughs> <laughs> I can only look at your eyebrows now, but it's just, oh god. Maybe okay. cover them up, Luke. <laughs> yeah. Does this help? Yeah. No! We can't tape up my eyebrows! No, no. Please continue, Luke. So it's in first person. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Andy, yes. personas uh -huh. are manifestations of the main character's inner psyche. Mm -hmm. And the first persona you'll meet in the game is Arsene. I am the pillager of twilight. Arsene! a winged figure based on Arsène Lupin, the fictional gentleman thief in the stories of Arthur Conan Doyle contemporary Maurice Leblanc. I see you're learning so much. Andy, <clears throat> with this paper and this Sharpie, yeah. I'm going to give you a minute right. to draw your persona. Okay. Go. All right. It's got a head, so that's good. Oh, okay. Let's see where this is going. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of detail. A lot of detail. Ooh, didn't expect that. Okay, uh, let's get it. Waiting for here? the clothes to be drawn on. <laughs> oh, here they come. No <laughs> clothes. <laughs> Three, two, one, and stop. Okay. And name, name it. Uh, okay, he's called, it's a vampire cowboy called Count High Noon. Count, Count High Noon. There he is. It's pretty good. Combining my love of both vampires and cowboys. Good, now I'm going to give you uh, another minute to draw my persona. Oh man. <laughs> and go. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm liking where it's going. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't show up to personas. <laughs> I'm out of Persona Club, basically, is what's happening here. <laughs> okay, um. you, you, you want to name him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. My persona with which I will be fighting the forces of evil is... It's <laughs> Funky Cat's Fresh. Funky Cat Too Fresh. <laughs> Funky Cat Too Fresh. He's a breakdancing cat who's... Too legit to quit. <laughs> well, it's, I've combined your love of cats <laughs> and your my, love of fresh. My love of being funky fresh. Your love of fresh breakdancing. <laughs> <laughs> I had a minute, <laughs> no preparation. <laughs> you know what? Let, like, let's just look. Count high noon. <laughs> funky cat too fresh. <laughs> Count high noon. Funky cat too fresh. What? They make an unbeatable team. I don't see what you're All complaining right. about. There's millions of high school <laughs> students who. Love, <laughs> love persona like funky cat funky too fresh. Cat too fresh. <laughs> so how could it better capture your personality? I am looking at my inner psyche. Here I was doing a persona quiz, reaching into your mind, and here you are, just reaching into my and deep fully, into my lizard brain. Fully extracting. Fully extracting. Like fully formed the character of funky <laughs> cat too fresh from your psyche. Ellen. Prey will see you going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the menacing Typhon aliens, who boast abilities ranging from mimicry, as discussed, to teleportation. These fearsome smoke beasts are not to be tangled with, but Ellen, I'm offering you an out. 
if you had to be part of a fight to the death aboard a space station with any other alien from popular culture, which alien would you pick to battle? Not the xenomorphs, because they have acid blood, so if I like Oh god, them, not like, the xenomorphs, yeah. Yeah. Way too hard. But the thing is, Way my name's hardcore. Ellen, you know, Ellen Ripley, you know, could that should ideally be the perfect match, but Try no. explaining that to the xenomorphs, though. I know. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. I was thinking more like E.T., like a real... <laughs> Just oh, pun yeah. E.T. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, kick him into the airlock. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 We've killed Mike. Hi, I'm Ellen. And I'm Luke. Welcome to Show of the Weekend. Luke, do you want to focus up? Hi, Stretch Broadcloth. I'm Mr. Westaway's agent. Sorry, he no longer likes to be addressed directly, so if you could direct your inquiries to my client through me, I'll be able to. Sorry, I've got to take this. Robert, baby, Danny Jr. is who I'm talking to. Luke, is this because you and Jane went to that Destiny 2 event in LA for like two days and now you've gone all Hollywood? <laughs> Jane, you were there as well. Like, do you agree with this? Hi, Bud Fensler. I represent Ms. Douglas. <laughs> We played near Automata and had a rare old time battling robots and riding a moose. Robots. Fear me. <laughs> Fear me and my moose. <laughs> Our antics clearly triggered some lyrical synapses in the brain of Rory JL2014, who commented, They went through the desert on a moose with no name. It felt good to deal out robot pain. To which commenter Crenje responded, In the desert, they slid down sandy plains, but the slippery sand made Ninus complain. Na 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 Whoa! Whoa! There's so many good bits of entertainment in so there many good from bits. us. So many good complete pros Gosh. and really good, great, great team of people here making A star quality content. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been churning out the top hits. <laughs> yeah. What was your favourite? I uh, like when the thing happened with the thing. The thing happened. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Way to be specific. <laughs> the thing is, that's my that's my joke because I liked all of it equally because it was all brilliant. Yeah, we, but I especially like the bits where I was being funny. We so. love every bit of show of the weekend equally, except <laughs> yeah. obviously all of the ninety nine percent that didn't go into this <laughs> show of the list. Of, that was all rubbish. <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. Yeah. And, and thank you for supporting show of the weekend and outside extra in twenty seventeen. It means a huge amount and there would be no point in running the channel if you, you guys weren't there to watch it and it, it really gives us energy yeah. and life force uh, seeing yes, your comments precious life force, precious life force <laughs> we're taking <Jesus. laughs> thank you very precious. much <laughs> Ellen I'm trying to say something nice stop making it all golemy why do you have to make everything golemy stop goleming my nice outro viewers. there's golem all over it <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next year. Bye. <laughs>